Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. So in this video, what we're gonna be doing is running down the top five Mac apps of April 2017. Now this might be a little late out, but it will cover some of the Mac applications that I found pretty helpful in terms of being able to keep yourself organized on Mac. So that is a topic that everything ranges around in this roundup. So the first application is Be Focused. Now this is Be Focused Pro and I got it through the set app subscription, but it is a great application for being able to access a Pomodoro timer on your Mac quite easily. Now it resides at the top of your uh, like Mac experience, so up on that top bar, uh, you'll be able to see that and access it at any given time, setting yourself a timer for however long you want and be able to complete tasks as well and have your own mini to-do list there. So it's ideal and has some really nice sort of sounds as you go around your day and a fantastic export to CSV feature. The next feature is called Timing and it is an application for time tracking on the Mac. Now I've seen a fair few time tracking tools in my, in my time, <laughs> but this is one of the best ones for being able to store it on Mac and actually have it offline as well so that you can track any offline activity like meetings, etc. So it works natively there without having necessarily to have online access. So they're actually launching a Timings 2 which has a lot, like a deeper integration uh, with other services and also a dashboard which looks great. So I'll include all of the information to download that in the description below. The next application I checked out is called Memory Clean and it's actually a neat way for me to keep myself uh, coordinated in terms of actually not having too much mess on my desktop and also to clear any like apps that are causing too much energy consumption. So I basically just click the clean button and I'm only using the free version at the moment but it actually helps to improve my RAM speed when I'm using the Mac. So moving over to Simple Note, now not many people know about this one but Simple Note is a uh, application for just being able to take notes. It's got nothing really special inside it. Uh, it's very similar to an iWriter, but they have a Mac application. The experience is really minimal, but very good. It's one of the best uh, Mac experiences I've seen for a note-taking application, but there's not really many features inside it, so I would use it as a distraction-free uh, writing experience for sure. The final application that I wanted to recommend to you guys is Grid Sutra, which is a new way to help coordinate um, all of the sort of desktops that you've got running uh, at any given time. So you can use this to actually organize all of the panels uh, around your computer. So you can actually have multiple panels running at any given time. It looks great and it works great and it's pretty nifty resource for those looking for uh, a way to sort of keep all of those tabs, keep all of those desktops quite clean and simple and easily accessible. So definitely worth checking that one out as well. Okay, so guys, those were all of the top five Mac apps for this month. I hope you enjoyed the feature. If you haven't subscribed, I put out an iOS one every single month and a favorites video with a few of the other applications that I'm discovering as I go about my month. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm looking forward to sharing more features with you. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.